Good morning, you guys. All right, you get like a rough Rachel this morning. Like, no joke. I did my workout and I look really rough, but I figured you probably wouldn't care. Um, so I want to say, first of all, welcome to this group. Like, I am so excited about this group. I'm excited about every challenge group I run, but there are so many new women who I have met um, that are in this group, and uh, my heart is just blown away by what God is doing and how He's just expanding this ministry. And I'm really, really thankful that each of you is here. Some of you have been with me for a while. Some of you are brand new. Some of you are just like not even sure what you're doing yet, and that's totally okay. Um, but I wanted to welcome you to this group and let you know that I have been praying for you guys. Like I have some notes over here, so I'm looking at my computer. But um, I'm really praying about the focus of this group and that God will use it to not only help us improve our health, but help us improve our personal relationship with Him too. So as you guys know, we are going to be reading through Made to Crave together. That's by Lisa Turkers. If you don't have your book, go ahead and get it. You can get it on Audible. You can get it in the, the book form. There's even one with a devotion with it. But that's kind of going to be the focus for this group. Um, that's the book that I started with. And also, the scripture verse for this um, challenge group is Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 3. And it says, you have circled this mountain long enough, now turn north. And because that is where I was three and a half years ago as a brand new challenger. Like, I had tried everything. I had tried diets. I had tried, um, you know, uh, cutting out my dinners for like a week so that I could lose weight. I had tried like um, the grapefruit diet. I mean, oh my gosh, like I tried and stopped and started everything. And so I was tired of it. I was tired of it. I was a mom with little kids and I just wanted to feel better about myself and the choices that I was making. And I knew that that fad diets weren't going to work. And so whenever I joined my first challenge group, I went ahead and even though my coach, her focus was not a scriptural focus, I picked up Made to Crave and I started to read it and God used it to change my life. And my prayer is that he does the same for you. Um, but I really want the focus, like I said, to be on leaning into God and asking him to really change our health, change our choices, change our habits, because that's where it begins. And I'm excited about that for you guys. Um, so so we are not going to be just focusing on how much weight we have to lose or how much we can lift in our weights, but really um, what are we capable of based on the strength that comes from God. And so that's going to be our focus. Um, so we are definitely going to be working out. We are definitely going to be meal planning and implementing clean eating and drinking our Shakeology. And those things are important. Those are definitely tools that have helped me for the last three and a half years get results, stay focused, and, and be the healthiest, honestly, that I have ever been. But I want to make clear, this will not be easy, guys. Like It may come easier for some people, uh, but for me, it was a struggle. I can remember making that first meal plan and thinking, this is too hard. Am I going to do this every Every week and getting out those portion containers and thinking ah that's all I get to eat um, or you know mixing those shakes I didn't even like my first couple of shakes that I made but slowly over time um, it became a habit and it became enjoyable and I started to receive results and and even on the days that I just kind of totally derailed myself like I would get back up the next day and push play and just feel so confident in the choices that I was making and that's going to be our focus for this so we are going to over the next five weeks uh, be focusing on just that this week is a prep week so we're going to dig into our resources online I made you guys that video about Beachbody on Demand go ahead plug Plug in there. Um, start looking through the programs. If you have not chosen a program yet that you're going to start with, let me know so I can help you do that. I definitely always suggest that 21 Day Fix is an excellent place to start. Um, but if you want something different, let me know. But the meal planning resources are all there. I'm going to be sharing some of my meal planning tips and my own meal plans for you guys. So you can use mine or create your own or tweak them and make them your own. Um, so putting what we put into our bodies is really important. I mean, for years and years and years, I just treated my body like crap. And, and that I felt like crap. And so that's what really helped me start to see the first changes was was changing what I put into my bodies and if you look through those meal plans if you look through the meal resource guide um, you'll see lists of foods that we suggest that you eat nothing crazy um, there's a lot of foods that you get to choose from so start to peruse and just look through those meal planning resources for sure um, 
We are going to obviously push play every single day if that works for you. Some of you guys may have crazy shifts, different kinds of jobs. You may not get to push play every single day. Don't let that stress you out. Just do what you are capable of, but don't make excuses. Push and play on those workouts is a mindset thing more than anything. So set your schedule. We're going to talk about scheduling your workouts based on your lifestyle. But while we're planning, while we're prepping, while we're pushing play and all that stuff, I really am prayerful that this is just the beginning of a new lifestyle for you. Um, new habits, new choices, and I'm just really glad that you're here and I hope that you start to see benefits and energy right away. Um, okay, so it can be scary. It can definitely be uncomfortable. And you know, no matter how you got to this point, just kudos to you. Congratulations to you that you came, that you showed up, that you invested in your health. And I'm so excited that we're going to do this together. And the accountability piece is awesome. And so I really want you guys to show up to encourage one another. Like this morning, I posted that post asking you guys to introduce yourself. Please, please, please introduce yourself so that we can get to know one another because we are going to become a family um, of, of women who are, are just choosing, are, are going after becoming our best selves. So definitely that accountability piece and posting is really important. This is a process. Your body is not going to change overnight. You have to take it day by day. You have to take it meal by meal. You have to take it workout by workout. But showing up is what's going to matter the most. Even if you get off track, and you will get off track. Like I'm just going to tell you, you're going to get off track. You're not going to do this perfectly. You're not going to start day one and go all in and then just never fall down. It's just, it's just reality. So don't set those expectations of perfection for yourself, but just set an expectation of progress, okay? And so I'm going to, um, hey, Melissa, I just saw your message. I'm going to help you choose a workout program, okay? But, um, so this is our preseason week. Like I said, we're going to go through our resources. We are going to um, start creating our meal plans. I know that may seem in intimidating, overwhelming, but I promise it becomes easier. Um, and we all have a starting point, so let's just start here, all right? After this, if you watch this whole video, tell me what your goals are. What are your goals? You shared them with me privately um, in those, those forms that I sent you, but I want you to share what your goals are with each other so that we can encourage and we can push one another that way. It may be to lose weight. It may be to gain muscle. It may be just to just incorporate some cleaner foods to help your family eat cleaner, but tell me what your goals are. Um, secondly, this week we are going to meal plan. I'm sorry, we are going to meal plan. We're going to take our before pictures and measurements. I know that's not always fun, but it's definitely part of the process. If you don't have those, you're not going to see those small changes that happen every single day in your body. And, and when we measure, we're going to have do something called Stat Saturday, uh, where we will take our measurements, our before pictures, our weight. We're not going to weigh every single day. We are going to do that only on Saturday so that you can see that progression happening. And it will happen. If you show up, if you stick with it, it will absolutely happen. So definitely take those before pictures and measurements to do, um, today or this week, okay? Uh, by Sunday, everybody should have their own meal plan for next week. That's really important. You're going to create one this week. I can help you with it. I can help you tweak it. But this is a closed group. You don't have to be afraid of posting, of sharing. Uh, nobody outside this group can see what we're posting, sweaty selfies, all that stuff. So be, feel confident in that. Um, you also have the My Challenge Tracker app. You may be watching this in Facebook or the My Challenge Tracker app. Choose which one you want to participate in the most. It doesn't matter to me. I just ask that you don't like double post because I kind of do feel like I have to... Um, you know, I love to interact with you guys and I want to with everything that you share. Um, and so it just makes it easier for me as a coach if you're doing it in one place. I like them both. <laughs> I love both. Um, but it's totally up to you where you participate the most. So um, choose your verse. You know, you may not want to use Deuteronomy 2 verse 3. You may want to choose a different scripture verse um, or a different motivational quote to get you through this group. But choose one, pray over it, use it Write it on your mirror in the bathroom and let's move forward. I'm really excited about this. I'm really thankful that you're here and that you're going to do this with me. And I hope you guys, I pray that you guys um, see some great results from the inside out. So let's do it. Share those goals with me. Okay, right below. Bye.